Hey folks, Crazy Clamorator here again, and we're going to look at my new series, my top 20 games from the uh, Atari 2600 or VCS. And yeah, we're going to start with number 20, but first of all, I would like to make a quick shout out to the awesome uh, website Atari Age. Come check out their threads and say hi to uh, Retro Russell. That's me, Crazy Clamorady. Hope to see you there. But, uh, like I said, we will start with game number 20. And we'll work our way up to the top game. And game number 20 is basically Atari 2600's answer to Astro Blaster. And this is a great game called Mega Mania. It was released in 1982 by Activision and Steve Cartwright. Very, very cool game. There's the there's the box right there with Steve Cartwright's in, uh, signature. And here is the cartridge of Mega Mania. I remember playing this. This is a great game. Now this game only has four different settings. Uh, number one setting is for one player rapid and guided fire. Uh, number two is for two player rapid and guided fire. Number three is for one player no rapid and or guided fire and number four is two player no rapid or guided fire but uh, you patrol a spaceship at the bottom of the screen you can only move left and right and you just try to take out all the enemies in a formation above you and some of them have really uh, sneaky uh, movement patterns and some of them shoot more often than others and you go through eight uh, different waves and then they repeat let's get started you have an energy bar at the bottom. This is the first wave. And uh, you just try to take out all the enemies. And like I said, you have guided shots. When you when you shoot, you can move left and right after the shot has left you. And uh, it will move as you move the uh, controller. And you can hold down the fire button and you'll just continue to keep shooting. With every uh, 10,000 points you reach, you will gain an extra life, which sounds pretty awesome, but the game is really quite hard. Uh, you have to really study the enemy patterns of uh, for each wave. And note that they can shoot at you. And uh, getting touched by an enemy, getting shot by an enemy, will cost you life. Even running out of fuel will kill you. And there I got all the enemies very tricky patterns. Some of them will drop a little bit. Obviously, some of them will drop right to where you're at and can kill you by touching you. And uh, some of them will drop, but then rise back up. And uh, the game, the, the value of each uh, enemy rises by 10. Uh, for each level that you uh, move up to it will start at whoops it'll start at 20 and then it'll go to 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 and 90 is the maximum once all eight waves have been beaten then uh, you will see different patterns from the enemies and they will have different colors so yeah the first level is hamburgers and they move from left to right second level is like tinker toys they look like they move left to right, reverse, and drop two times. And level three, I'm not sure what they are supposed to be, but they move left to right. Level four, they move in rows opposite ways, opposite directions, right to left, reverse, and then they drop two times left to right. Or, uh, they drop two times. Level five are diamonds, and that's these guys. They move left to right, uh, drop slightly, and then rise slightly. And then uh, you you notice that you get a bonus for uh, all the fuel that you have left. If you run out of fuel, you die. But uh, the amount of points that you get is increased uh, with uh, the value of the enemies. So the, the further you get, the more points you can get. And your score will really rise quickly if you're good at this game, which I am not. I could not quite get through uh, all eight stages but yeah the uh, amount of bonus you get for the fuel remaining is uh, 
uh, the uh, number of enemy energy ticks times the enemy value. And so, uh, you know, each little tick of uh, fuel that you have left is uh, multiplied by the amount of points that each enemy is worth on that wave. And so, uh, as the energy the enemies get to be worth more and my game over I almost got uh, another extra life at 20,000 the uh, more the enemies are worth the more points you can get later on in the game for a bonus uh, fuel left and this is the final enemy wave I call these uh, cookie dough <laughs> but there's uh, hamburgers tinker toys I'm not sure what the third and fourth guys look like and then diamonds and then receiverless phones they kind of look like to me then bow ties and then cookie dough and then they repeat and they have different patterns note now that they uh, stop and then speed up a number of enemies do that but yeah it's nice to have rapid fire and guided shots and then uh, here's the next wave the second time around note that there are different colors and they move at a tough uh, downward angle pattern left and right. And then the, the next time you face the third enemies, they do the stop and, and go fast routine again. And then we saw the, the change in patterns for the level 4 guys. Level 5 guys are, have the same uh, stop and speed up pattern. The uh, diamonds. And then... Uh, these guys have a have a weird kind of pattern. They can go downward, left or right at an angle. They can they can stop. They can move down. And now here's the the bow ties again. These guys go down downward and upwards, and then stop and then speed up. And then the uh, the cookie dough enemies move uh, downwards, left and right in a crossing pattern. And if you fry the cartridge by kind of wiggling in between on and off on the on-off switch, you can make a, a weird text at the bottom. But that is the only uh, interesting thing that happens with frying. That has some uh, positive effects on uh, other games. But that was uh, Mega Mania, game number 20 in my 20 from Atari 2600 VCS series. What's this crazy climb ready? Say thanks for watching. I hope you join me for number 19 coming up soon. Take it easy, everybody. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Bye-bye.